there you go. Bike is safe. And if you live in the Netherlands, this is what it looks like, all right? Bicycles all around. Man, fun day at work. Did a lot of stuff. Productive day. So, about to go home. About nine minute ride. See you guys. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video, the first video of this series, bring back the six pack and it's a full day of eating. So as you guys saw this morning, I had four slices of bread, uh, two eggs, whole eggs, uh, also some cheese and some ham in there. So that was uh, my first and only meal of the day because if you guys have been following for some time now you would know that I do intermittent fasting meaning that I fast for the majority of my day or at least in the morning. So the first meal I had was that and it was around 12 o'clock when I had my lunch. Also quick tip if you guys don't like drinking water with your food then you can use what I use here just some flavor drops I think you call them and just put some of it in your water and it will make it taste so much better so that is really like you when you're dieting so as i said that was my only meal so right now as soon as i get home i like to have a little snack a little snack before i eat like my meal my rice my chicken or whatever so let's do that i'll show you guys what i'm having okay so the first snack that i'm gonna have are actually rice cakes and these are just the plain ones with sea salt and I'm actually kind of obsessed with the caramel and chocolate flavored ones but during this cut I'm gonna try to stay away from them because they have a bit more extra carbs so I'm just gonna have these ones but that's not all because I'm gonna put some Nutella on there yes I'm eating Nutella that's the beauty of flexible dieting guys so we are going to start the scale put the Nutella on top Reset it and pick 20 grams. Why 20 grams? Because I want to eat 20 grams. Okay. Right now it's saying negative 7. Negative 14. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. There you go. Mm, 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 mm. No Nutella shall be wasted, guys. Mm. And there you have it, just a quick and simple snack just before I start cooking and prepping my meal just to hold me on for a little longer. So, quick and easy and delicious. So, see you guys when my meal is ready. Alright guys, so for the first meal I had some chicken and rice with some butter on the rice. Doesn't get any broer than this. right here and yes this cost contains calories so I'm gonna put everything in my fitness belt and in the meantime I also snack on some elements so about to have this as my pre-workout and I'll see you guys at the gym so today was a pull day guys and we're starting off with the pull-ups as usual and I actually had to stop doing weighted pull-ups because of my elbow guys so even doing them without uh, weight hurts quite a bit so I'm just trying to warm up my body here and just get my lats just engaged because today is a lat uh, dominant workout. So I was actually short on time on this day so most of the exercises we're gonna do today are going to be super seted. And I actually wanted to change things up a bit today and do other exercises that I don't usually do. So I hope you guys also get inspired from this workout and find some new ideas to spice things up, you know. So as you saw, I started at the lat pull down machine instead of the cable. And I supersetted that with the single arm pull down. This way, really focusing on my lats and really engaging my lats a lot more. Don't mind the armpit hair, guys. Come on, come on, focus on the exercise. And I actually saw this exercise from Bradley Martin guys I saw him do it this way so I went ahead and give it a shot and it was just really great you get a better overall stretch on those lats so 
Give it a shot if you've never tried it. After that, I moved on to some biceps and I did some rope curls. And here, I'm just focusing on keeping everything tight because I tend to breathe very badly when I'm doing exercises like this. And I end up getting injured, like getting a stick behind my back. So I was just really focusing on staying tight and just focusing on that form. After that, I move on to a weird variation of the dumbbell pullover, guys. And I actually saw this also from a YouTuber called Roswell. He uh, was doing this variation and I thought it was pretty damn cool. So I started doing it like a couple of weeks ago and I really just love it. I enjoy it a lot. I feel the contraction a lot and the stretch on my legs really, really a lot. So it might look kind of weird and please use a towel come on come on because people lay on there to do the leg curls so they don't need to be laying on your butt sweat okay so it might look kind of weird but try it out and, and believe me the stretch on those lats is just really great you will see me do some posing here but it was really awesome and you can't go that heavy though because you might end up breaking a shit okay so just take it easy Pick just a lighter weight and just take your time with it and control the movement. And I supersided this exercise with some bent over dumbbell rows. And of course on these days that you superset stuff like this, you're not gonna be able to go the heaviest, you know? But I mean the intensity is very high, it will help you burn extra calories, so it's still a great way, you know, to, to, to increase that intensity of your workouts and especially also if you're short on time. And the last superset we're gonna be doing today is obviously for arms and we're gonna do some prone incline curls together with some hammer curls and I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and also this full day of eating guys so enjoy the last two meals of the day and let me know what you think of the exercise in the comments down below just came back from the gym guys and I'm having a post workout shake before I have my last meal of the day which is some pasta with tuna, ketchup, and some parmesan cheese. Do you guys think it's a weird combination? I don't think so, man. As long as it tastes good and it fits my mac, it's all right with me, okay? I'm gonna finish off this meal with some water here. And if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like on the video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. So, I guess I'll see you soon. Later, guys.